Hi and welcome back to the next lesson. In this lesson we're going to continue to add some more narrative to our dashboard and this narrative is going to be related to a target. So our performance against a target. So underneath each one of these we're going to put in what the target is and how are we in relation to that target. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is actually create a new measure that is going to calculate the difference between the current value and the target and in this instance rather than use this data story we're actually going to use a button. Now the reason we're going to use that will become clear as we go through it so I'm going to go and insert and I'm going to insert a button and it's going to be a blank button here. Okay so let's put that at the very top here we're just going to put it under here. Now the reason I'm going to put this button in is because it offers a lot of formatting options now I'm sure Power BI will, will increase the format and options that are available for cards. But for, if you use a card, which we'd normally use if you want to display just a single figure or a single string of text, um, then you, you don't have the option to, if I turn on the button text, to vertically and horizontally align the text. Okay, and we want to be able to vertically, vertically align the text. You can you can align it horizontally from left to right, but you can't use this vertical. And also, you can't put padding. So what we're going to do is this button text. We're going to see test here. We're going to add in text like the current value of, and then it'll be whatever the current value is. X is above or below below the target by and then I put y target of y by z okay so we want to basically that that's how it's going to look and feel once we've done it we're going to put in a, a piece of a, a calculated text string that is going to say these sort of words the current value is x above or below the target above or below yeah or it could be equal to the target of y which is going to be the target by z. So let's go and create a measure that's going to actually replace this text. So I'll go to home and we're going to go to new measure. Okay so this approach is a slightly different approach like I said where what we're going to do is rather than use the data story approach where we write a story and we use hashtags to place measures at specific places or specific um, holding points within that story. The second approach that we can use here is that we just construct the whole string. Now the advantage of that is that you use less measures because you can construct all of the variables within the string. The disadvantage is you don't have the option to highlight specific values. Or more, more specifically, you don't have the ability to highlight the measures that you're actually interested in. So we're going to look at both. I've given you the option to use both. And I'll just talk you through this one here. So the first variable we are going to look at is going to be the high current week high risk. So work order current week high risk. Now that's already something that we created for one of the prior, one of the previous, um, I think it was overall status, but we've already created that anyway as part of this. Then we're going to put in the high risk target. So the target for this high risk, the number of high risk work orders or defects is zero. Okay, we've got a really kind of strict target here. We want to have zero high risk defects at our plant. The difference between the current week um, and the target is basically the current week high risk minus the high risk target. And then we're going to go and calculate the difference text. So that's going to be the text that's going to, dis going to be displayed explaining is it above or below the actual target. And we've got options here. So if this value here it equals to zero is equal to the target if it's below the target or if it's above the target so all of this is contained within this measure here is available next we're going to go and look at the text the target compare text so this is going to be uh, basically the text that's going to tell us what the difference is between the target value and the actual target Okay, so the text that's going to be returned here is going to be um, this one here, difference current week target, which is this value here, the difference between the current week and the target. 
is less than zero. So if it's less than zero, then the value will be by difference. Okay. Now, if it's equal to zero, sorry, not less than. So if it's not equal to zero, it'll be by difference. Now, if it is equal to zero, it's going to return nothing. Okay, and I'm going to show you that in a second how this works. So basically, we don't want any values to be returned if it's equal to zero. Okay, if the difference is equal to zero, if it's on target, because there is no difference between the current and the um, there is no difference between the current week's value and the target value. And then we're going to go and construct the string. So the current value of, and then these ampersands is going to basically embed that measure within this string here. So the current value of current week high risk, so that's, that's a measure that calculates the high risk defects, is, and then we're going to put in the difference, the target of, and then the high risk target and the uh, target compare text. Okay, so it's basically constructing a string that we're going to use here. Okay, the current value of something is above or below or equal to the target value of. Now, if it's if there's no difference to the, the current value, then this text here will be blank. Okay, so there won't be anything in here because there's no difference to actually um, to articulate there's no point in articulating a difference of zero. Right, so let's add that in. It's just added it into this groups again, I notice here. So let's just quickly change that back to work orders. And we will minimize that. And what I'm going to do here is go in and rather use the button text as being manual text, I'm going to click on this FX button here. And we're going to use a field value, and the field value we're going to use to drive this text for this button is actually going to be the one we've just created. And so, search for high text, high risk, current week versus target. Okay, so here we can see the current value of 2 is above the target of 0 by 2. Okay, so that's exactly what it is. Now, just to show you what would happen if the if it was on target, let's increase the target to whether we uh, let's change the target to two. Now, if that target is two, what we'll see here is the current value of two is equal to the target of two. Okay, so there's no difference. It's, not, it's just basically the code within this measure has, has, has returned a blank value because there's no difference between the target value and the actual value. And therefore, this value here is just not, it's just a blank, so nothing's actually displayed. And that's some of the considerations you've got to look at is the different permutations. If it's above or below, make sure that it's, it makes grammatical sense, or at least as close to making grammatical sense as possible. Right, so now the reason I've got this is because we also want to go in and do a little bit of formatting with this. So I want it to be right at the left hand side. I want it to be at the top. And it's just so I can make it as small as possible. And I'm going to add a bit of padding here. And it's just going to bring it down ever so slightly and, and in the middle. So it just it gives a little bit more formatting options. And I am going to get rid of the border. Oh, I've added on a border, it must have been something different. Hold on. Get rid of the background, get rid of the border, and. Ah, it looks like this is. Ah, outline, get rid of the outline. Okay, so that's it now. So that's the first one we're going to create. It's basically just a, a bit of text that tells us the current value of 2 is above the target of 0 by 2. Now, we also want to add a, a, some sort of indicator that's telling us that there's a, an issue here. Okay, because we're comparing the current value of a target, so if it's above the target, we want a, an indicator to let us know that it is actually above the target. And that is what we'll cover in the next video.